A package for you, sir. Oh, thank you. No problem. Dear The Norm, I've been watching you for some time now. You have talent, passion, and a sense of conviction that I've only seen in a few people. I can tell that your love for movies is strong. It is that very same love that has inspired me to write to you and give you a truth that you must hear. It is time for you to step up your game. It may not seem like it, but there are those out there who believe in you and want to see you do more. Please accept this gift as a token of my faith in you. May it serve you well. Your friend and fan, Diana. Nah. P.S. Love the background poster. Oh, yeah. I think it's time for a little more change around here. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the North, and welcome to my 50th movie review. Man, this is just too cool to be true, yeah! Oh, hi! Um, yeah! My 50th movie review! <laughs> Who'd have thought, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I am particularly excited today, not just because I got this awesome new jacket from... a fan, but also because I'll be reviewing this movie. Two words. F***ing <laughs> awesome! I have never read any of the comic books of this particular character, and I don't recall ever seeing a particular iteration of him other than the video game. But this character is hilarious. And the movie as a whole is just really, really damn good. It's funny, it's action-packed, it's smart, and it's just an overall bundle of insane, immature joy. Now, a fair warning to some of my viewers. If you're not really a fan of superheroes, comic book characters, or immature graphic violence and nudity, this movie is definitely not gonna be up your alley. And make no mistake, this movie totally milks its R rating, and for good reason. It's one of those few movies where immature humor totally works in a movie's favor. And oh glorious Dave, 20th Century Fox finally made a superhero movie that was good and not X-Men. Okay, not entirely X-Men. In case you're not familiar with the character, Deadpool is referred to as the Merc with the Mouth. He's a soldier for hire who volunteered to undergo a series of strange experiments in an effort to gain superhuman abilities. The results virtually made him indestructible, but they also made him a little insane. One of the more fun aspects of this particular character is his ability to break the fourth wall. It's actually written that that's one of his superpowers, which actually makes it funnier. And it gives the movie all kinds of opportunities to create funny pop shots of the audience. But what makes this movie so much fun is that everyone involved had a ton of fun making it. Not just because of the hilarity of Deadpool's character, but because this truly was an absolute labor of love. Ryan Reynolds has always gone on about how much of a fan he is of Deadpool as a character, and how much he has really wanted to play this part. He worked his 
ass off to get this movie made, accepting payment cuts, getting in new people, working with a small budget, meeting every single ridiculous demand of the studio, and they pulled it off. This is just joy in a bottle. It is so crazy and so much fun and so entertaining that I can't help but absolutely love it. This movie has officially made me a fan of Deadpool, and I look forward to seeing what comes next. Absolutely go see it, but don't bring the kids. It's not for them. Oh, and in case you're wondering, yes, you need to stay through the credits. Well done, Ryan Reynolds. Glad to see your dream finally came true. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the norm. Thank you all for watching.